guys, it's Katie at Vespa Portland. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do a full walkthrough of the 2021 Genuine Rough House 50cc. Um, so this is an awesome bike. We haven't done a video on it before. So we're just gonna go over all the bells and whistles this bike has to offer. Um, a quick note, it is the model year 2021. However, Genuine hasn't really made any major changes to it in a couple years. So even if you have 2019, 2020, it's probably gonna be very similar, if not identical. Um, so first we'll start off with some engine specs of this bike. This is going to be a 50cc two-stroke carbureted engine. Um, so because it is carbureted, you're gonna to wanna to pour a little bit, uh, or because it's two-stroke, you're gonna to wanna to pour a little bit of engine oil into it, um, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, so because it is 50cc, it's gonna have a top speed of about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Uh, and it gets about 100 miles to the gallon, uh, ideally. You know, the more sushi that you eat, you might get a little less miles to gallon. I know that's my problem. Sushi is my weakness. So like I said, top speed of this one is going to be about 30 to 35 miles per hour. However, um, similar to the Genuine Buddy, this bike can be de-restricted after first service um, to make it go a little bit faster. Who doesn't want to go faster? Um, so the first service is between 300 and 500 miles. So bring your bike into us or your local dealer. Uh, we'll do the full service and then we can actually de-restrict it and it can get up to about 45, 50 miles per hour. Um, so it's definitely gonna pack a little bit more of a punch. All right, so the physical specs of this bike, we're gonna talk about those. Um, this bike weighs a little under 200 pounds dry weight. Um, so that's pretty light. This bike's really easy and convenient. You can just jump on it and zoom off. So the Rough House is an ideal bike for tall riders. Um, you can see it is a pretty tall bike and it has these really big tires. Um, seat height comes in at about 31.5 inches. So ideal for people with tall riders or people with tall shoes, um, such as myself today. Uh, the cool thing about the Rough House though is that you can get a low profile seat option, which makes it a lot more um, accessible and approachable for the shorter riders. The Rough House also offers, um, unlike a lot of the other scooters, these front riding footrests, which gives your legs a little bit more room. It makes you look really cool. Um, you laid out like a Harley chopper, I guess. So, One thing I will say about this seat, although it is a little bit higher, it is probably one of the comfiest seats that we have in the shop. Uh, I love riding the Rough House because it's, so, it's just a very squishy seat, uh, provides a lot of comfort. So. So now we'll move on to talk about the handlebar and other features of the Rough House. First of all, down here you have an exposed glove box. Um, it does come with a USB charger, so you can charge your devices while you're on the go. Um, we have a lot of customers that also like to get a RAM mount for their phone so they can do navigation. And it's super nice because you can keep your phone plugged in that whole time. Um, moving up to basically the, the dash and the controls up here, you have your high beams and your low beams. You also have your turn signals. So if you're not familiar with scooters, um, you do have to auto cancel your turn signals. So this would be the left, turning left, and then you cancel it, turning right, cancel it after you complete the turn. You have your horn, nice and loud and proud, let people know you're coming. Um, then you have your kill switch. So this is gonna be on any scooter or motorcycle in the US. Um, it's a safety feature that allows you to basically turn the bike engine off without removing your hands from the handlebars. Um, you have some hazards here as well. Um, and then this is the engine start button. So to start the engine, you will just press the yellow button and you do need to grab a brake. Um, I usually recommend grabbing the uh, left brake because that doesn't mean your hand's not on the throttle. Um, but all of these are just safety precautions so you don't you know, start the engine accidentally. So moving on to the hand grips, uh, this, the scooter, this Rough House is going to be an automatic transmission. So no need for a clutch or for shifting, it's super easy. Pretty much this is go and this is stop. The right brake, this is the right brake is going to be your front brake. This one provides about 70% of your braking power. The left one's gonna be your rear brake. So um, you do wanna brake using both of them, but about 70% of the power comes from the front. So really important when you're stopping to just kind of slowly squeeze them evenly. You don't want to grab at either brake. So the cool thing about the Rough House, as well as the electric start, you also have a kick start. 
um, which is kind of like an emergency way to start the bike if the battery dies. Really nice to have that um, just in case you accidentally leave your key in the ignition or the battery dies. So the Rough House also comes with these 12 inch tires and as you can see they're a little bit more knobby than the standard scooter tires. Um, adds to the badass look of the bike but it also allows the bike to go lightly off-roading. I mean I wouldn't take it on any heavy gravel roads but you could probably get away with some dirt trails stuff like that. So some other features of the Rough House. Uh, first of all, you have a hook here uh, for groceries, your purse, whatever you need to put there, and it stows away just as such. Uh, and then you might be wondering what this is. This is going to be your two-stroke oil reservoir. Uh, so because the bike's two-stroke, you do need to uh, put some engine oil in it. So you would just unscrew that, rip this out gently, and uh, pour some two-cycle oil in here. We recommend filling the reservoir about every every other gas stop. So the gas tank is uh, exposed on this bike. So basically to fill it with gas, you'll just push this over and uh, you grab your key and you'll pop your key in and it will pop the gas out. I don't want to get it everywhere. You can see we have full gas tank in this one. All right, next, you know, I love the seat. I'm going to show you how to open it. So key in and you just turn it and it will pop the seat open. So you get a lot of storage with the Rough House. Um, you could fit probably a half head helmet, maybe three quarters helmet. We would have to see about a full face, but lots of storage underneath the seat there for you to stow things on the go. If your helmet doesn't fit under the seat, there's also these hooks uh, where you can put the D loop of the helmet on and hang it off the side. So that's another option um, if you can't fit your helmet under the seat. So, for the colors of the Rough House, uh, this bad boy comes in matte black, which you see here. Also comes in a glossy silver and a white color as well. So the MSRP of the Genuine Rough House is $1,999. That will not include any freight and setup or dealer fees, DMV fees. Um, that's just the base price. There also is another version of the Rough House. It's called the Rough House Sport. Uh, it's going to be similar to the Rough House, just with some upgrades. Some of the upgrades include a low-profile sport seat. It's going to have 12-inch black alloy rims with some different street tires. It also comes in a couple of different other colors, uh, such as matte black, a matte red, and then a matte titanium color. Um, the MSRP for the sport is $2,299 and you can inquire at your local dealer about getting either of them. So I hope you guys liked this walkthrough of the Genuine Rough House 50cc. Um, if you like what you saw and you wanna make one yours, call your local dealer or call us here at Vespa Portland, 503-222-3779. We have a couple in stock left for the rest of the year. So give us a ring if you wanna make one yours. Thanks so much guys, this has been Katie at Vespa Portland and we'll see you next time.